Hi, I'm Nathan with The Grace Company. Today we're going to be looking at the TrueCut original rotary blade cutter and how to change the blade. What we're going to show you here is you can look at the cutter. This has been designed to work for both left and right handed cutters. And to change the blade, it's a very simple process. We're simply going to remove the nut from this side, which will allow the bolt to come out so that we can then switch out the blade. Before we start handling the nut, what we want to make sure is that it is locked in the lock position so that the guard cannot be moved. This will be done by pushing the button down here on the hand of the locking button into place so that we cannot use or operate the cutter. We're going to simply loosen the nut here on the top. There's a spring on here as well. We're going to take the spring off. And now we're just going to go ahead and let the blade bolt fall out. You can see that that blade just wants to come right out of the cutter. Go ahead and take your new blade and we're just going to slide that back into place. If you look at that, we have a hole. We're just going to slide it back into place. Take the bolt and we're going to push that back up through the bottom. Now again, this does work with any 45 millimeter blade that has a hole in the middle. We're going to go ahead and take the spring, put the spring back over the bolt. We're then just going to take the nut and then tighten this back down on top. And again, we do want to make sure that that nut is tight on there so that it is seated all the way. And that is the process to change the blade. Very simple. Again, we remove the nut took the spring off, let the bolt come out. We then moved to the old blade out, put the new blade back in, put the spring on along with the nut, and we're ready to go back to cutting. That is how we change the blade on the TrueCut original rotary blade cutter.